Hey there guys, Elite Legionario here, bringing you the third 2v2 I did with Doc Holiday uh, for Total War Rome 2. This time I'll command the Iceni and he will command Rome. This is his first run as Rome, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure Rome's always is one of his favourite factions. And our opponents are the Seleucid Empire and Macedon. So, um, we do have more numbers, so the bar is ever so slightly in our favour. Uh, however, the factions, in my opinion, are definitely the stronger factions. So uh, we'll start with my faction, I guess, the Iceni. I have three units of Britain skirmishes. I think it's important to always bring um, jet pelter style units when you're going to be up against pike factions, especially with non-pike factions, so you can help break your way through. Um, and I've got three units of Britain slingers, because slingers are always a good range unit to have. I believe it was four units of Heroic Riders, this one being my General's unit. Very epic unit, I like that unit. I got six units of Heroic, uh, where are they, Heroic Nobles, I think it was six units of Heroic Nobles, and two units Chosen Spear Band. Um, and that's my army. And Doc, uh, he braved it and didn't bring any elite units really, he brought eight units of Legionnaires. Um, he did bring four Praetorian cavalry. I think it's here, four Praetorian cav, uh, four Velites, and I think it was four auxiliary, uh, sorry, three auxiliary uh, Balearic Stingers and one auxiliary Syrian Archer. Not sure why he brought the Archer, maybe he didn't have enough money for the Sling. Although, no, I think the Sling is more um, cheaper. I don't know, I would have gone with just Balearic Slingers if I were him, but uh, yeah, never mind. Um, pretty cool army though, I must admit, I've got to go try some of those lower end units more. I have tried them, and I do like them, um, and I'm going to try them more. But it's just when you're up against Macedon, the Seleucids are quite tricky to use because those units are so much more deadly. So uh, the Macedonian player, he has, I think it was four units of Aspis Cav. Uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five units of Foot Companions. Four units of Mercenary Rodian Slingers, two Shield Bearers. Uh, I think that's his army actually. And the uh, Seleucid player's got three Hellenic Cataphracts up here. Then he's got two Azart Knights over here. No, three Azart Knights over here. Then he's got five units of Seleucid Silver Shield Pikemen, which are heavily upgraded now. Uh, Doc has already begun using his Balearic Slingers to hit the flank. Unfortunately, though, it is the flank with a shield there, but even so, with that concentrated fire, it's still taking quite a lot of his men out. He's already lost 30 men. So it's still valuable to do this. Um, so here uh, the Seleucid player does see a bit of a hole in, in Doc's line there. Um, and here you can see Slings coming in, he's at the shield up to try and deflect that. Uh, he's going to try and run down some of those uh, Balearic Slingers. And he'd probably get away with that actually, because Doc was fairly um, slow to get this guy moving, this Praetorian cab moving. So he does just decide to charge him here. I want. I was trying to tell him to brace, but it, um, it turns out the the as that knights don't actually end up going for him. So he's going to get those slingers, and and as you can see, he just didn't move the Praetorian cab. So you know, Doc's sort of inexperience in micro in this game is showing a wee bit there. Um, but then again, he, as I said, this is only probably like his fourth or fifth battle on Rome two altogether. So and like in the online sense, so he's 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 not really allowed to make mistakes like this. Um, so uh, here they make a hard push on on Doc with these units of Aspis Cab and Hellenic Royal Cat. Uh, I wasn't going to say Royal Cataphracts, just Hellenic Cataphracts, and that's a bit of a concern because that's some serious cavalry power. So um, I'm going to send my two uh, chosen spear band to assist. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tons of pressure down on these Seleucid players, so perhaps I can force them to have to bring his Cataphracts back away from um, away from Doc. Uh, Doc probably could have done to have uh, his infantry a little more organised. He does get rid of the Cesart Knight, but not after taking after getting quite disorganised in his formation. Uh, he does get his Praetorian in, although I don't think he got Draco down, which is bad because Draco is very useful for Praetorian Cav because it allows them to get a bonus versus the enemy Cav and then the enemy Cav fight also get to fight worse against him. So um, it's a very, very good ability. It gives the Roman Cavalry a significant advantage. So here these cataphracts charge through, um, and they're going to get quite a lot of docks, uh, slings and things. But I brought my two um, guys, my two chosen spearmen over, and these units do very well against his cav. Um, but if we look at over here, I'm starting to target his general with my uh, javelins here. Um, I have to cast all three of them onto this one unit of his guys here. 
Uh, here he's trying to stop me from doing so. I've already taken this unit down by 20 men. And look at them falling. Look at them. Just look at them. Down nearly now. Just lost like 15 men in just like one, one, two volleys there. So I'm just going to retreat back here. And now I'm going to bring some of my infantry forward and some of my cavalry. I'm going to try and get his, his art knight stuck in battle so I can surround him. So I try to use shield wall, hook, shield wall, shield wall here because it's better to brace when you're going to get charged because it gives you much more defensive case capabilities. So over here I get my spears in and here's where I go with uh, anti-cavalry tactics. Uh, I think I put them on or I'm going to or I'm very soon going to. Here we go. There's, there it is there. And I'm sure I did it with this one as well. Yep, anti-cavalry tactics. Um, and these guys do really well once they get anti-cavalry tactics going. And I've got these Hellenic cataphracts completely snagged up on me. So they're not going to be able to interfere with this fight for some time. Here the... Uh, the, um, I was waiting for the Macedonian player to do this. I deliberately left two units of my heroic riders in reserve because I wanted the, to draw in the Aspis companions to try and rescue these Azart knights because I was getting my infantry in as well while I still had plenty of reserves. Um, and because all their cavalry is engaged over there, I'm now able to completely encircle this lot. I'm going to get the uh, charge in. Uh, there it goes. Charge there. Um, what's that? That's Frenzy Charge, I always forget what it's called. And I've got my journal in now, I'm going to do a Frenzy Charge, and I do I believe I rally and put the defense on. So there goes the, his yep, defense and stuff, and I, do I get the Frenzy Charge off there? I might, I might have missed it with that one, actually. There you go, no, I popped it just then. So I've got all those cavalry completely routed, so they're strong cav, they'll last a long time, but that'll get, they'll start to break. He's trying to bring in his pikes, but uh, as you can see, I've left reserves, and I'm still pumping down a crap load of missile fire. As you can see, these pikes have lost a lot of men. I've already, I destroyed an entire unit just by using my javelins there and my slings. So he's going to put this unit down, but again, I've left infantry reserves, and I'm sending some infantry right around. Let's check over this side. This cavalry is going nowhere. It's completely snagged up on my chosen spear band. Uh, however, this chosen spear band's gotten snagged up on his pikes. However, I didn't even attempt to disengage this. I didn't do that simply because um, this holds up three units of these shield, these you know Macedonian infantry units, and I was very happy to let that happen. And as you can see, I, between me and Dot, we successfully routed these Hellenic cataphracts. Most of them got snagged up on my pikes. However, unfortunately, there were some of these Aspis cab that survived, and they're going to get my slings. Um, I didn't really see that until it was much too late. It would have been useful for dealing with these Rhodian slings. But as you can see over here, this all these expensive cavalry units are gone, and the saluted infantry is gone as well, basically, except for perhaps one but doc's done a fantastic job here if we look he's got a total surround on them so you know he'll easily win those off um, and over here uh he caught these sh shield bearers there but i believe his legionnaires would probably lose that fight um against shield bearers um so that's not ideally great but it doesn't matter now because i'm able to totally free myself up over here and he had a couple of legionnaires over here in support um because of those saluted infantry i don't think i really needed it but it's good to have it to speed up the process uh, here what i do is i hope that my my slings and stuff because these aspers cab are so weakened um to catch them and hold them up while i bring in some support to stall them so i can use my cavalry and other units to completely dominate other areas of the fight he tries withdrawing here um, because uh, as you can see uh, in a moment he's going to attempt to form the box and i'm not going to let that happen because if he can if he can form the box and we have no missile units to break it he could potentially defeat us simply because our infantry units are going to be tired and sword units are no good against the box without much infantry with missile support um, so you know we run down this unit of uh, what, are the, what are they shield bearers before they can get away uh, however it's that com um, foot companions we're trying to get because if they form the box it's going to be too hard to deal with it so we're doing we're doing a mad dash to try and catch any units that might attempting to to stop uh, to get back to form that box so um, we see that there's gaps and stuff in the line it's not fully formed um, and we're running out full steam to get that and stop that happening as you can see between myself and Doc we've caught this foot companion before I could get back and that's going to be destroyed which was great uh, Doc's going to just go running straight into these guys here um, he should be okay because he's got so many men. Here I managed to get my uh, one of my chosen spear men in. The other one got destroyed, stalling all those units back there, but that's fine. So uh, here he's trying to support while he, before these units get destroyed, um, which is great because he had to break his box attempt to, to do that. So um, as you can see, those Macedonian units are starting to rout, and I get a real good counter charge into the back of these shield bearers with my guys, and they got a frenzy charge off there as well. I've also got the 
a frenzy going on with the infantry there. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, these foot companions do a pretty good job, but uh, once they get out positioned and surrounded, it's good. I'll slip my cavalry straight through, and I try running them into the side of them here, and that'll help break them, because they've now got their flank pretty sandwiched there, and they've got some mercenary radiant slings in the process as well. Got my other cavalry slinging around them, just trying to keep them, you know, no angle which he can work with now, basically. As you can see, uh, those... Um, those foot companions are fairly stuck, although well, they're doing a pretty good job against Doc's men here because he's kind of broken through on that part. Here I make a bit quick run on some of these Rodian slings that regrouped here, but there are some foot companions right beside them, so I had to pull out of that. But I do route them nonetheless. Over here I get another charge and I finally start to break and kill, I do believe I kill his general, um, which is great. Got to take my hat off the dock though, he did a very good job here. His legionnaires all got to like 50-60 kills, which is pretty good against, considering they were much weaker than the units he was facing. So here he's trying to withdraw this bit unit back, I'm just trying to put pressure on it, and I think the battle actually ends there. Yep. Uh, and I believe I had about 1100 kills and Doc had about 700. Uh, the Macedonia had about a thousand, but the Seleucid player only got about four hundred. So um, the Seleucid player tried to support the overwhelmed dock. I just put my spears in to hold them up while we just I just got that complete encirclement on the rest of the Seleucid the cab and army on the left there, so we could wrap around the Macedonian. Um, so when you're using factions like the Asini, Rome, Swaby, Averni. Uh, anything, basically any sword shield infantry, you've got to use uh, flanking, positioning, uh, and things like that to get around the pikes. Um, when you're up against pikes, I advise peltists. As you saw, they'd absolutely shred pikes, even directly from the front. You don't even want to believe what the damage they can do from the back is, um, if they can get behind the back. Um, so, you know, if you're a sword faction, bring javelins, peltists, things like that, and just mass their fire on one target at a time, and you'll get some stunning results. Um, and then you can thin the numbers out and be much easier for your swords. Just make sure you protect from enemy cavs, but, you know, Rome, Iceni, and stuff like that, they've got some pretty decent cavs, got good spear support. Um, these Hellenic successor kingdom factions have got, in my opinion, better cav, sure, they definitely do, particularly the Seleucids, but Macedon does as well. But you've got units like Triarii, I chosen spear band stuff like that. You could toss an infantry unit to support it. You know, you can easily, you know, those cab easily outpowered my heroic nobles there if, they, if I fought them in a one for one. But what I did was I used infantry support um, and I got an encirclement. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I hope you did, I really did, and, and I'll see you soon next time.